हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो सो रिसेंटली वाइल आई वाज डूइंग सम रिसर्च वर्क आई केम अक्रॉस दिस अमेजिंग टूल कॉल्ड क्रिमिनल आईपी सो इट्स अ ओशन टूल एंड इट्स अ रियली गुड टूल वेदर यू आर अ सिक्योरिटी रिसर्चर और अ बग बाउंटी हंटर और इवन अ सीसो और अ कंपनी एंड आई हैव बीन यूजिंग इट फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम नाउ सो लेट्स मूव टू आवर स्क्रीन एंड आई विल टेल यू अ लॉट ऑफ डिटेल्स अबाउट इट एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो टेल द एंड बिकॉज यू आर गोन अ लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सो लेट्स बिगिन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट अ अकाउंट ऑफ क्रिमिनल आई पी ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज विजिट क्रिमिनल आई पी डॉट आई ओ एंड दिस इज हाउ द मेन पेज लुक्स यू हैव टू गो टू रजिस्टर एंड ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज पुट योर ई मेल आई डी एंड सेट अ पासवर्ड एंड इट विल हार्डली टेक वन मिनट फॉर यू टू सेट अप अकाउंट एंड इट्स कम्प्लीटली फ्री सो नाउ वंस यू हैव योर अकाउंट रेडी दिस इज हाउ द डैशबोर्ड विल लुक लाइक यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अकाउंट एंड आई हैव अ मीडियम प्लान सो दिस इज अ प्रीमियम प्लान सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मेन फीचर्स सो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव अ सर्च इंजन आई कैन सर्च अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड दिस इज द एसेट सर्च सो बेसिकली आई टेल यू वॉट एसेट सर्च इज यूजिंग एसेट सर्च यू कैन find a lot of information about a ip address for example what ports are open if the ip is connected to any kind of server or tor and uh, you can also find a lot of vulnerabilities cves open ports a lot of data so this is the asset search and you can see there are other options as well there is exploit you can do a Im image search and uh, there is also a domain search so now let me talk about tags and filters this is a really important feature so i'll just show you i have a ip address if i search the ip address on the search bar you can automatically see that it suggests me a lot of things which i can search so let's just search this ip address for the time being so i'm searching this ip address and i got a score so what this score does is it shows me if the ip score is critical or it's low Now let me show you some other things. Like uh, this time we can search for an IP address and uh, use a filter. For example, we can see if SSH port is open on this IP address or not. So I am using the port filter and I have to use the port number, which will be twenty two. So I can see if Port twenty two is open on this IP address or not? And indeed, it is open. You can see SSH is open. And uh, if we go to this IP address and we click on asset search, as I had said, it will scan the IP address and find a lot of information about the target. You can see that it has a critical score, which means it is really vulnerable. And you can see it is based on Germany, and we can see that port twenty two is open. Let's also search some other things using the filters and tags. For example, I want to find what IP addresses in the country USA have the port twenty two open. So I can use two filters, which is country US, and I can use port twenty two. So this will show me all the IP addresses which have port twenty two open in USA. And let me search, and you can see I get a list of all IP addresses. now for example this is an ip address i want to find more info about it so i can click on it and click on asset search and as you can see it is vulnerable it has a lot of vulnerabilities and we can find more info about it along with this if you go to this place developer under developer there will be a option called filters and tags so you can see a lot of tags which we can use we have just used one or two tags these are the different types of tags which we can use we can use the date we can scan for servers and uh, we can search for vulnerabilities and uh, this is one tag which i have shown you using ip and port and there are different tags i mean there are different filters for different types of searches there is this exploit search so we will cover this as well along with this something which i wanted to tell you about is that i've written a complete article on using criminal ip which you can find in the description below so in this blog i've explained everything even how to use the different types of tags to find your results so 
इन केस यू आर ए सिक्योरिटी रिसर्चर और अ बग बाउंड्री हंटर दिस इज अ रियली ग्रेट टूल फॉर यू इवन इफ यू आर अ कंपनी एंड हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्लाइंट्स एंड यू वॉन्ट टू स्कैन द टारगेट वी कैन ऑल्सो सर्च फॉर वेरियस आई ओ टी डिवाइस लाइक वेब कैम सो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल आई एम सर्चिंग फॉर अ वेब कैम इन कंट्री यू एस ए एंड इट विल शो मी ऑल द वेब कैम्स इन द कंट्री यू एस ए and as you can see these are the results and we have already found a critical result on which we can do a asset search other than this we can also search for ip cameras and these are the results so if you go to the blog section of criminal ip they have some really interesting blogs which you should definitely check out you have the cyber security report in which they write about the recent cyber attacks and cbes which have been found and there is also a criminal ip search tip which is similar to that and uh, you also have a weekly deny list in this the company provides a list of all the phishing urls and websites which they found find using their ai tool so now let's scan a live target using asset search so for this example i'm using this ip address which is a ip camera and as you can see we already have the results so before i start i want to give you a brief introduction that this tool has five stages of showing the risk which is low medium high and critical so you can get a scoring based on the results so as you can see we have a critical result on both inbound and out outbound traffic so the inbound traffic basically is the risk of traffic incoming from this ip address and uh, and the outbound traffic is the risk of visiting this site so you can see all the critical details like uh, this malicious you can see that this ip address is malicious and uh, we are the first person to see this ip address if someone has discovered this ip address before us using this criminal ip tool we'll get to know that two or three people have seen this before us and uh, they also tell us that this ip address is a vpn and uh, there is a lot of critical vulnerabilities so so this asset search feature is really good in case you are a researcher or or a company which uh, scans a lot of ip addresses because it is really useful in the information gathering phase of cyber security so we can see other information like uh, there is a ssl certificate which is valid and uh, we can see the address and we can see the ip address of the owner we can see the host name we can see that this ip address is based in china and uh, there is another really important feature called detection which shows you what type of ip address the ip address you are searching for is for example this particular ip address is a vpn ip so it is most probably you are being used as a vpn and as a hosting ip so you can see all the data in case a ip address is used as a tor ip we'll get to know so there are various types of ip address which the tool lets us know about if uh, the ip address we are searching for is a part of it other than this we have a lot of other information like oh currently open ports and you can see all the critically marked ports are marked in red so these are all the ports which are open and uh, so these are all the ports which are open and you can see uh, around 1000 ports are open on the target we have 231 vulnerabilities and also the name of the services which are vulnerable and uh, you can see that criminal ips asset feature has found 27 26 exploits from exploit db and we can see a lot of other data as well so if i scroll down you can see the who is information about the target you can see the location on map it's based on this city in uh, china and uh, we can see a lot of details about the open ports and on the right side we can also see the cbs associated with this ip address so most probably this ip address is really vulnerable to a lot of cbs and we can see that it is highly vulnerable to jenkins 
so so if you are not aware of jenkins it's basically a continuous development platform which is used by developers so you can see all these cves which we can search for and uh, we can use on the target and we can also do a exploit search which we will discover pretty soon let's also take a look at other information let's also have a look at another ip address which is this one this is based in india and uh, and you can see that this is a vpn ip address and it has a lot of vulnerabilities as well and scrolling down we can see the location in noida and uh, these are the cbs associated to it so using asset search you can find a lot of information about a particular ip address so let's talk about some other features like exploit search and domain search so you can find the exploit search on this place so using exploit search we are able to find more info about a cve so you can see i have searched this cve and if i click on this link it takes me to the exploit database page and you can see that this cv is for a ftp client stack based buffer overflow attack and i can download the exploit in this place other than this we also have the domain search which you can find in this place so domain search is a really interesting feature because using it you will be able to find a lot of information about a domain so for this example let's do a domain search on this domain and you can see it is already scanning it and we have a critical result so you can see that it has a 99% critical score and uh, it has obfuscated script malicious html element fake favicon icon so there is a good chance it is a malicious site and you can see that there is a really good probability of phishing it's based on U united states and you can also see other details like whether it has a valid ssl certificate or not and uh, scrolling down we can see a picture of the site and you can see it looks like a torrent site where you can download movies so there is a good chance that there is phishing going on in this and you can see the connected ip address to this domain and other important details such as tls certificate so it shows the version of the tls certificate so it is using https the country and the cookies encryption so this is a really good feature for enumeration about a domain the asset search also has a data download feature for example i can put the cve id and search for it and you can see it gives me a result of all ip addresses which are vulnerable to this particular cve and i can also download the result and you can see there are so many result for this cve and maybe i want to download only two results so i click on the download button and it downloads it and you can see i've already downloaded a result so criminal ip also has a lot of api integrations so basically you can use criminal ip along with other security tools such as nmap virus total splunk strix and a lot of other platforms so you can see we have some interesting ones like nmap you can use criminal ip with the nse script of nmap and uh, you also have splunk you have volatility which is a python utility used for forensics and uh, you have log expresso and you also have strix so for those of you who you don't know about strix it is basically a structured language which is used for cyber threat intelligence so basically what it can do is it can convert your cyber threat intelligence data into a graphical format so this is mainly used by people who are into cyber threat intelligence to graphically view their data and you can see i've also written a blog about it the i'll drop the link in the description i've practically shown how to download and use this strix api integration and you can see i was able to find uh, information about a target and show it in a graphical format so go and read the blog other than this there is also a chrome extension of criminal ip and you can use it with a lot of other tools along with this criminal ip also has a github page where you can find github repositories for a lot of api integrations and other features 
Criminal IP also has a AI based phishing link checker. So this is a Chrome extension which you can add to your Chrome browser and using this you can see if a domain or a IP address is malicious and whether if it has any phishing links. Coming to the pricing, currently I'm using a medium plan. However, you can try this criminal IP tool for completely free. And uh, for me, a medium plan is really suitable. And in case you are a researcher or penetration tester, the medium plan should be ideal for you. I'm considering to buy a pro after some time. So medium plan covers all my needs and uh, you can see the difference between all the types of plans. So before I discuss the differences between all the different types of plans, let me tell you about credit usage. So you can see, so like based on the plan which you get, you are given a certain number of credits and for every type of scan you do, the credit is deducted from your uh, main number. So you can have a look at the pricing page to get a better idea about the credit usage and you can see I can show you this it differs from plan to plan and you can see the credit usage which I have done you can see that uh, I, these are the number of scans which I have done and this is the remaining credits which I have it is not very high because I have only used it for research purposes but in case you are a company you can expect that a company will do a thousands of scans and the chart will be pretty high and there, there will be a thousands of scans and results. So it differs from company to company which plan you should choose. But uh, you can have a general look that in the free plan you don't get the exploit search but in these paid plans you get all the features and uh, you can see the difference. If I go for a pro plan I'll get some additional features like tag filter and uh, real IP detection, anonymous VPN detection. So these are the features which I will be getting and you can see a comparison between all the different types of plans. So as I said, it totally depends on your company and your usage, but a premium plan is much better than a free plan. And even if you don't want to buy it for the time being, just give it a try. You have most of the features and if you like the tool and you find value in it, definitely go for a higher plan like medium or pro. So this is my personal conclusion. I think that criminal IP is a really amazing tool. So whether you are a security researcher, bug bounty hunter or whether you have a cyber security company, whether you are a CISO, it's a really good tool. And it is a really powerful tool and there are so many different types of features which you can use to find a lot of information about the target. So you should definitely at least give it a try because it is completely free as of now. Just go to the website and register your account and you can try using it. And trust me, while using it, you will get to know a lot more about this tool because there are so many different types of filters and tags. So if you have any queries or business inquiries, you can go to the website and go to the contact us page and uh, you can fill your form and uh, you can also email the company by emailing to support at the rate aispera.com so i hope you guys liked this video and thank you so much for watching i'll drop all the links down in the description so you can check it out make sure you read all the blogs that i've written because it can be really useful if you want to know more about how to use this tool and make sure to create an account and try it for free and if you like it you can go to premium plans so thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.